Kevin and Tommy, congratulations. I mean, this is just extraordinary. To, to have accomplished something, Kevin, that, that no one has ever done before, was there, were there times when you felt like you weren't going to be able to make it? Absolutely. I mean, I think that's the process of a big project. You're bound to have your ups and downs, your highs and lows, and the last 19 days was no exception. There were moments when I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, and then there were moments of pure joy and relief as things were going well. And, and Tommy, I know you're, you lost your voice from yelling for Kevin so much while I, you're on the mountain. W what was it like when you finally reached the top? It was, it was like a big weight lifting. The whole climb was a surreal experience, but it was quite stressful, so the relief of that getting to the top of the mountain was, was pretty awesome. Kevin, for people who might not understand much about climbing, to, to free climb something like this, I mean, the strength that's required, it's just extraordinary. And the danger, too. I mean, have you always gravitated toward free climbing? Yeah, free climbing only means that you're just using your body to get up the wall. Any any use of ropes or gears just for for safety is backup. And Kevin, for you, what what was the what did you find to be the hardest thing? I mean, even something again, this is kind of stupid and probably embarrassing, but but like going to the bathroom has got to be a challenge. I I think it's harder just to be away from your friends and f your family that support you in such a big audacious goal such as climbing the Don Wall. You know, we could be pretty connected digitally up there, but there's no getting away from the fact that it's just us up there on the wall for 19 days. Can you show me your hands? I mean, are your hands okay? I don't know if you can see, but the tips of my fingers are all bruised. And on my index and middle, you can see the remnants of the slices from the pitch 15 the 15th rope length on the route. And it took, I mean, you said it took seven years to prepare for the climb. What does that preparation look like? Physical, I mean, is it looking at the route? Did you know in advance exactly the route you were gonna to try to take? Um, it, took, it took a few months of scoping out the wall and trying to figure out if there was holds that linked from the bottom to the top. And then it took a lot of physical training. And then it took the mental um, training in terms of just finally coming to a point where we believed that we would actually do it. What happens now? I mean, you've pulled off what many consider to be the ultimate climb. Do you already have something in mind that you want to do next? At least for me, I'm looking forward to some, some stress-free, just pure fun climbing. This was, uh, like I said before, an emotional roller coaster, and I feel a lot lighter now that we're back down on the ground. and. I'm looking forward to doing some light duty bouldering or some deep water soloing or something, something a little more mellow and fun until the next inspiration for a project strikes. None of that sounds mellow to me, I gotta say. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like kicking back, watching a movie or something. <laughs> no. <laughs>